Hello everyone, it's Caroline here at Create Your Future. How is everybody today? Guys, I am a coach at Create Your Future. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and until the end of the summer, I still have the sale running. Use summer 23 when you sign up for a coaching session. I am a hypnotherapist certified as well as a certified neurolinguistic practitioner and we are still giving away the course on how to remove your blocks and to manifest fast, as you know, to create this amazing life for yourself. So check it out. It's an amazing, amazing course and it's free for you. So get it. Honestly, it's super helpful. All right. Today I have a success story and it's an amazing, amazing client of mine. Not that you guys are not amazing, you're all amazing. I've been working with this lady for a few months and I have seen with her the evolution of her journey that is so inspiring and that's why I want to share it with her permission. Of course, I have it um, with you guys. So it's really how we started how to manifest, you know, um, a specific person. And when we started talking, she was really in a state of feeling extremely defeated, defeated, feeling nothing is working out. I've been doing this uh, law of assumption, um, you know, practicing my affirmation for a long time and nothing is working. I, it did work for a while and now I'm down. And, you know, those feelings, I know a lot of you can relate because I hear it all the time. You tell me during sessions, you tell me in your emails or your comments, it's a very painful place to be in when we feel like we are affirming and there's no movement. And actually, maybe things are getting worse because it's not only the situation with SP, it's the situation at work, it's the financial situation, it can be situation with friends, situation with housing, situation with, with um, you know, money, financial situation. So it's um, not a good place to be in and this is a time when we start doubting, doubting is this law of assumption even working? So yes, it is working because it's just, it just is, that's how it is. You are a consciousness right now and you're in this body and even your body is a reflection of your mind and everything you think become, you know, with repetition becomes a belief becomes your truth and it is being pushed out, meaning it's being reflected in your 3D reality. And this is what you experience, which is wonderful news because it gives you the power, the power to choose your reality and not be a victim of what is going on. So yes, it's about affirming. It's about repetition of thoughts, which create belief. So why is it not happening? Why do we have delays? And why are we stuck in this state of feeling defeated and despair? Simply because there's a dominant story that is just a story, nothing else but a story that takes you where you don't want to be. It's a dominant. Now, why do we have a dominant story that is um, not in, you know, unfolding in our advantage, you know, things you have gone through in the past, life, what you've heard from other people, what, you know, what you see on TV, what you've witnessed. Uh, again, even though all this is a reflection from your mind, what you created, you know, it, it's like, this is a whole new, different topic. I mean, diving into why we experience what we experienced in the past and why we grew up with limiting beliefs it's, you know, another topic, but it is something that we have, most of us have experienced. And from there, we have, you know, believed it, we have made it a truth. So it perpetuates. Now we just need to be aware and we put like, it's like, you know, taking a projector, turning the light on, putting the light on it. And now we are conscious. We put our consciousness on the things that are going on in our lives. Once we are aware, once we link this to, okay, 
It comes from us. It comes from our thoughts. It comes from an old belief, a limiting belief, a belief that stem from lack. Then we regain our power and then we can start deciding to choose different thoughts that will support what it is that we want. So we always have to be very, very, very clear on what it is that we want. So if we don't know in details what it is that we want, we can go general. You know, I want a happy life where I have good relationship with people, where I live in beautiful places or I have an, a comfortable home uh, that I can easily afford and that money is abundant in my life. That way I can be um, carefree in a sense that I don't have to worry about money or how to pay my bills. So it can be general like this, or it can be very detailed. Okay. So, so once we're very clear on what it is that we want and we write out beautiful affirmations, we repeat them and we are very disciplined paying attention to the you know, the thoughts that are running in the back of our mind, the inner conversation that we keep on repeating throughout the day while we are doing something else. Because there are, you know, the time when you focus on your affirmations and you do the work, and then there's the time in between when you're doing random things and, and or other things and you're randomly thinking, you're randomly having those inner conversations which usually are taking you know taking you exactly where you don't want to be meaning that you're thinking thoughts that do not support what it is that you want so my beautiful client um kept you know making a list but there were several categories there was health there was work there was money and of course the specific person and she's being getting better and better. She is being affirming. So over the months, you know, um, coaching with her, I've seen her um, getting, not that she was getting better, but she was getting more disciplined. So she was getting movement and things started happening. People were kinder around her. People were giving her compliments and um, communication with the specific person started again. And then gradually we got to the point where now a specific person was initiating the contact. The, the times where they were spending time together was more frequent. So, you know, great evolution. As far as other areas, uh, and that happened just yesterday, she, you know, she was, because once you start seeing movement, you get into your power. And once you get into your power, you can start making affirmations for more detailed, more targeted, areas of your life so she was giving me giving me this example that she was at work yesterday um last week and at 10 a.m a co-worker asked her a question about her job and uh that you know soon was coming up the anniversary of her being in this um, position in this job for so many years and my client said oh no i am not going to be celebrating that anniversary because i'm getting a new job that was at 10 a.m. At 2 p.m., she got in the offer for the new job and she got hired. So, and it's an amazing job, much better pay. So with that, not only she got this, you know, instant success for the job, she also got uh, the successful, the success with, uh, with financial, the financial success where now she's going to be making more money. Same week, she was invited on a trip to another state across country all expenses paid. So once you get into this momentum of movement, because you stay disciplined with your affirmations and you watch, you watch, watch what you watch, you're in a conversation, you start getting movements, you start getting that momentum, then you feel that power. And once you feel that power, you can start saying affirmation for all the other areas of your life at the same time, right? That's not because you're working on your specific person that you cannot uh, say affirmation for your health, for your relationship with other people, the quality of relationship with other people for work and for money. So she started doing all this and it's been happening. I mean, like an avalanche, the new job, the, the trips being paid, you know, like surprises. She would say affirmations 
um, like, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised all the time. So now she's getting invited and uh, she's getting better opportunities also on the side of the new job offer money is increasing not only the specific person is manifesting towards where she wants to be with this person but now you know there are other people interested in her because now she feels absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and magnetic so people are drawn to her and people want to do things with her so this is how once you get into your power you get to attract from all avenues in life and this is absolutely beautiful so what you really need to do and really i cannot say this enough you must be disciplined you must be disciplined with your affirmations you must know that it always push out always and if you feel that there is a delay you know that there's still a little bit of a block meaning a resistance meaning a dominant story that contradicts what you want. So you put the light on this simply by saying, okay, I have another story for whatever reason that is not supporting what I want. This is my old story. You put the awareness for yourself on the fact that this is the old story and you are closing that chapter and now you're rewriting a new story and this is it and only it and this is what you are going to experience because you are not allowing anything but that new story so you really you know must be clear must be honest with yourself must look okay what have i been thinking are my inner conversations um contradicting uh, my goals you know so be honest with yourself and if you do realize that throughout the day you have inner conversations where you're in a position of the victim or the not chosen one or the poor one then it's fine it's fine because that's kind of a habit that you may have had from you know your whole life from you know from the past so it's okay no need to beat yourself you know up down always be kind to yourself and just say that's all right and I'm just aware of it now, I am going to change it. I am making the conscious choice. I'm making the decision right now to change that story and now stick, 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 stick to my new story. So you persist with your new affirmations that you create from your new story. And then you see everything unfold. And from there you continue, you continue in your power. And I intend that all of you are as successful as my amazing client and i intend that you have an amazing sunday amazing rest of the day guys thank you so much for watching thank you for your comments emails i absolutely welcome and love each and every one of them and do not forget that we have that sale running until the end of the month uh the end of the summer september 23rd with code summer 23 also uh, the hypnosis tracks, I did not mention this in the beginning of the video. I still, um, I still, I do have four hypnosis tracks. I am for self-concept and overcoming rejection. Another one, which is how to manifest a long lasting, uh, relationship, how to bring your SP in your life and how to get in contact with your SP. We also have bundles, so they are on sale also right now the hypnosis tracks um the way they work you just you know stay in a very safe place where it's, it would be safe for you to fall asleep in case you fall asleep and you listen to my voice and i bring you to a state of super deep relaxation and then i repeat a bunch of different affirmations and they are imprinted of your subconscious mind after each affirmation, there is a space for you to repeat when i say SP for specific person, you can just repeat SP or you can put in and repeat with the name of your specific person. And you know, it's through repetition of those beautiful affirmations that you will see movement and that you will see your life unfold. All right, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for watching.